Hi, welcome to the introductory video of the mechanical session. Now we've prepared two teaching materials for you, the mentor. Now the first being the lesson plan and the second being the lesson module. Let us begin with lesson plan. How do we use it? Now you will find the overall of how the mechanical session would be conducted in the first and second page of lesson plan. The mechanical session consists of four individual activities, each with their own unique gear model, which are to be built by the students to enhance their understanding of the use of each gear. Now, there are some phrases or words in the lesson plan that are specifically color-coded for ease of understanding. The reference of each color code can be found at the bottom of page 2 of the mechanical lesson plan. Now, as a quick reminder, the step-by-step -step building instructions are in the lesson module. Let us begin with activity 1, introduction to gears, gear up and gear down. Now we've included a short introduction on how to introduce gears, gear up and gear down to your students. Now notice that there are some words highlighted in blue and you may refer to the color codes on page 2. Now after introducing, students will proceed to build model G2. As you may see, here is an image of how the model would look like and we've included a short description on how this model works and how it works. So take a look. This model operates on a 1 to 3 gear ratio and it will result in increasing speed but reduced output force. This is called gearing up. Moving on, you will find the parts list of model G2, which are the parts needed to build this model. Now after building model G3 and G5, students would now proceed with activity 2, compound red pinion gear. Instead of an introduction, you will be presented with a recommended activity flow which have questions to be asked to the students and the answers being highlighted in a different color. Now, the questions are to be asked after building a model. So, for example, students start to build G4 model. So, after the student builds G4 model and you've explained the description of a model G4, you may now start to ask the student to describe the output speed, which is the answer being the same speed. Then, identify the drive gear and the driven gear. The answer given, drive gear and driven gear being the same gear types, students will proceed with model G10 but take note as there is a side note for model G10 at the below of the parts list. Parts number 10 is optional. Any kit that lacks this specific part can choose not to include it in their model. Parts number 12 and number 13 can be swapped with any 1x8, 1x4, 1x6, 1x2 or any 1x plates regardless of color as long as they add up to 1 times 8 or more. Part number 14 can also be swapped with any tooth frag that looks something like this. Now, after completing activity 2, students will proceed with activity 3 and activity 4. Now, after completing all activities, we we'll prepare a short summary to act as a small closure and also an appendix. Now, we will move on to the mechanical lesson module.
With the mechanical lesson module, we will first be presented with the list of activities that will be conducted throughout the mechanical session, followed by activity one, introduction to gears. Here is a simple introduction to gearing up and down, an introduction to gear trains with green being the driver gear and red being a follower gear. Students would now proceed with building model G2. And as you may see, here are the step-by-step -step building instructions of model G2 and the arrows representing which place to insert the packs and to connect. Here's a simple description of model G2 with yellow highlighting the output speed while red highlighting the output force. Students would proceed with building model G3 and model G5. Moving on to activity two, compound rack pin and gear. Again, simple description. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to build model G4, followed by model G10. Step-by-step -step instructions on building model G10. Moving on to activity three, worm gear and grabber. Now in this activity, students would only be building one model, which is model G9, which is boom gear and grabber. Here are the list of parts to prepare. Again, step-by-step -step guide to building the model G9. As you may see, there are yellow arrows to represent how to insert the packs to connect each part together. After completing the model, students would move on with activity four, differential gear with forklift. Again, the step-by-step -step building instructions. Here is a completed view of the differential gear and forklift model. That's all for the mechanical lesson module. Now, remind your students to remember to clean up each part. Thank you.